Right now, I'm just heating up some mashed potatoes. I'm going to the gym pretty soon. Not lifting with anyone today, so I'm just going to be riding solo. So, that is today. Look at that. Look at the hair. Still looking fresh. Still looking fresh. But, uh, so we're going to go to the gym pretty soon. It's 2 o'clock. It's 1.50. Um, so, I'm going to eat this and then probably try to aim for the gym in about an hour or so, 30 minutes, um, preferably in that time. I haven't been feeling 100% on chest recently. I've been feeling really weak. Um, since I got my wisdom tooth out, but it's it's all good. We'll we'll make the the best of it. We'll fit the work in. So I think today I'm gonna try to do like a heavy single and then just do a little bit more volume today, um, just so I could hit my sets and hit my numbers. I did 275 for three sets of pause reps the last time I benched, which isn't bad, but it's just not where I want to be at. So we're gonna have to go in today, put in work to get me where I want to be. So we just finished up the mashed potatoes. They were pretty good. Those were the uh, the mashed potato. It's from the mashed potato packet that I got on that grocery haul video. So they're pretty good. Uh, nice and buttery. They taste really good. So I ate that and I think I'm going to stick my hand into the cookie jar a little bit. Take a couple cookies, just a couple pre-workout cookies because, mm. mm-hmm, oh yeah. All right, so before we get dressed for the gym, I just wanted to do a little physique update real quick. So, it's the front, it's my right arm, tricep. physique update weighing about 192 pounds 190 pounds all right so i was on my way here and i decided you know i'm a freestyle a little bit so i started freestyling and you know it was kind of ass at first and then it start that's how it always is you know you'll spit sometimes and sometimes it'll be ass and sometimes it'll it will not be ass so i found this beat that i like and uh just want to chop it up a little bit. Okay. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. I rip on the beat like I get ripped in the gym. You know where I'm at, not where I've been. Play on my name, boy, yeah, you know that's a sin. When I'm in it for the competition, you know that's a win. I'm a top fucking dog, I'm a real OG. I'm a whole different animal, I can't be beat. I'm relentless, my hustle uncompared by these chumps. I will never stop until the battle is won. Till I'm on the top with all my fucking glory. I'ma make sure that all these chumps know my story. Cause I cannot be stopped, I'm a fucking relentless beast. And you know I'm an animal, I'm a fucking G. So we just hit 315 or 275 for one. It went up pretty easy, so I'm going up to 315 now for a single, and we're gonna see how this feels and then adjust accordingly. Two, 
just hit 315 for one. I didn't look at the footage yet, so I'm gonna check it out, but it felt like it went up pretty slow, but it felt pretty easy. Um, so I'm probably gonna cut it for there today. I think I'm gonna drop down to about around 265, 255 around there, and do sets of six to eight. I think I'm gonna do today. I'm not too sure though. So if you see something different on the next clip, then I'll post what I did. What's going on YouTube? Back with another commentary. It's been a while since we've done a workout commentary, so I figured I would talk over uh, a portion of this workout and just let you guys know what's going on. So right here you see me doing 275. I did this for three sets of five. Um, I said I wanted to go for a little bit of more volume today, and I said around 6 to 8, but I figured the weight would make up for the last couple of reps, so I only did sets of 5 with this weight, which is still pretty good because I haven't been feeling 100% in the gym recently. I've been feeling just kind of weak and not as focused because... Um, I guess you could say I'm focusing on my tooth. It, I just feel a lot of pressure on where I got my wisdom tooth removed. Not so much anymore, but if I uh, still go a little bit too hard, I feel a little bit of a throbbing there. So I've just been trying to go a little bit easy, um, easier, you could say, to avoid any problems with that. But this was my last set of 275. I did six reps on this one instead of five, and this set probably moved the best if you uh watch it probably moves the fastest so this was my last set i'm going to probably commentate later on in the video as well but i have a little clip where i talk so i just wanted you guys to watch that our three by five with 275 on bench so now we're moving on a dumbbell incline came into this workout wanting to hit something heavy on incline so the most i've ever done was 110 for eight um, so I'm hoping to get about 120, maybe 140, 130 for a couple reps. So I'm going to start off with 90 pounds. So like I just said, I wanted to go for a heavy dumbbell uh, press this workout. And that's what I did. I went for 120 pounds and end up hitting it for about 8 reps. So I started with 90 pounds, which is still pretty heavy. But I feel like with the bench session that I just had, I was already pretty warmed up and ready to go with 90 pounds. I usually wouldn't start that heavy, but here I felt like it was appropriate for how high of a weight I was going up to. I only do a couple reps with it just because I don't want to tire myself out too much. I only do a couple weight reps with 100 as well, just because if I do too much, I'm going to tire my chest out and fatigue it for 120. So right here is the 120 pounds. You see my friend Ricardo um, telling him to help me up with through my elbows in the beginning and I get about five reps four reps by myself and then he helps me uh, push a couple out at the end which is definitely a good technique to use to push yourself to get just a couple more reps in because that extra bit is what's going to push your muscle and push your body to its limit and that's what's gonna help you make a lot of strength and muscle gains so next up we have underhand cable flies on these just you want to make sure if you get a full stretch when you go down and you squeeze at the top it's going to work your pec major and you want to take your reps nice and slow and do about 12 to 15. So next up we have dumbbell incline flies. On these, you just want to make sure that you get a full stretch when you go down and that you bring the inside of your bicep to the side of your chest. That's going to get you the best contraction and give you the most bang for your buck.
next up we're doing triceps we're gonna do tricep push downs with the rope and then we're gonna do cable kickbacks so we're gonna do 10 and 10 for each so on here I actually did a superset with the push downs and the tricep kickbacks with the push downs, I got on my knees and I took the reps nice and slow, making sure I squeezed my tricep on the bottom as well as pulling the, I guess you could say the handles of the rope outwards. What this does is it gives you a better contraction on your tricep and squeezing it on the bottom just ensures that you get the full range of motion in your tricep. I like to do those on my knees because I feel like when I push down on the weight, it's, there's let more resistance on the weight because it's traveling a greater distance than it would be if I was standing up so I feel a better squeeze when I do them like that next up I did the tricep cook kickbacks just trying to make sure that you keep the your arm parallel to the ground you want to try to keep your elbow locked into place and you want to try not to swing your body too much and just pull the weight out and as well as twisting your wrist to the ground. So this is going to be the last workout. We're going to finish off with dips. I like to finish off with dips on push days just to get a burnout in my triceps and my chest. So I try to lean forward for about half of it to work the chest and I try to straighten myself out to work more triceps. So we're going to do this for three sets, as many as you can. So, I also just want to turn the camera around real quick, introduce my boy, what's your name? Carl Alvarez. Um, I also have a YouTube channel, check me out. Um, my next little video will be on a shoulder warm up, so, any, and rounded shoulders, so anyone, you know, with those issues, check me out, Ricardo Oliveros. Check me out. So he's the real deal. He knows what he's talking about. He's a fucking beast. He got me into lifting personally, and it's just kind of been this rivalry going back and forth. So if you're interested in his channel, or like my channel, I'm sure you'll love what he's got. So go check his channel out. Link will be in the description. That's it for this workout. So we're back at the crib, finished up that workout. Uh, I took a scoop of this machine way this is honestly one of the best proteins for me right now there's no like best protein overall but this one's the best for me and that's because it's a little bit higher in calories than normal it has 3.5 grams of fat uh, six carbs and 25 grams of protein so usually proteins won't have that much carb or fat but I chose that one because of it, just because I don't mind the extra calories. I don't mind putting on a little bit more size. Matter of fact, I need to, so I don't mind that. And then I am also eating some leftover penny alad vodka with chicken. This is uh, some really good stuff. This bowl is full, but I already started doing some damage, and then I said I might as well just show them what I'm eating. So that's like my post-workout meal. About to head out with mom to uh, to, to Marshalls and maybe shop, right? So that's what we got going on right now. So we just pulled up. We're here going to Marshalls right over there. I'm out with the mother. We're meeting my sister Hello. here. So it's going to be... A nice little family vlog, I guess, in Marshalls. I think we're going to shop right too, possibly. Yes. We'll see. We'll see if that's a possibility. That I have to. <laughs> we gotta go in and out. All right. She says it's in and out, but it's never in and out. You know, it's always like one of those in and outs that take like 30 minutes. Okay, that's still an in and out. I mean, yeah, I guess. Yeah, I need sneakers for her. This is my sister. And now this, Say what's I put up. I her sneaker in the, in the pink suitcase. Say what's up. Do you feel like you're on the Kardashians right now? No. Do you want to do a confessional? 
No. <laughs> Fifty dollars. Can you wear them to work? They're eleven and that. These are pretty fly, the black Tims. All right, guys, so check these out. These are the Tims on right now. They're looking pretty fly. I feel like this is a rare find. Timberlands, they're only $50 and they're all black. Like they're not even like the boot color, like they're all black. Like. I usually want to like wear boots, but these are like pretty tough. So I think these are a must cop, and I think I might have to get another pair of shoes for work shoes because I don't know if I can wear these for work. But I think these are definitely a must cop pair of shoes for sure. You want to go down or up? Down. No, no, this is good. Down, down, down. I don't know. I don't. I hope I don't hate it all day. No, because I'm not like a shirt. Get it, get it. Good job. I was pressured. I was pressured by a two year old. <laughs> kind of sucks because I don't have my wallet on me to actually get him anything. April Fools. <laughs>